we on? We're on. Okay, we measured an inch and a half bigger than what you need in the opening, and then an inch and a half higher. We found out that we were all right on that side, there's no stud. Next to it, we just gotta add one on that end. Now, what I normally do is I take my saw and punch a hole in it, go that way. Uh -huh. Go that way before I do anything to see if there's any stud close by there if we have to shift a little bit, right here on this end. Because we wanna put two studs here. Mm -hmm. We wanna make sure you have enough room. Then you do the same thing up here, which you should be all right, but you never know. So, you know. So if there was something there, then we would have to move it Then we'd have to move one way or another. What we're going to do is we're going to cut this. On that mark. All right. Way back. Be careful if you feel something yeah. in there. Make sure you don't hit that wire. <laughs> I see why this is brown because this used to be a screen room. Yes, that's what I said. That's just that's why that's because see that's why the screen is still on here. See the screen? They left the screen on. Oh, that's funny. They didn't take the screen out. Now what we want to do is we're gonna cut these. We have an inch and a half left. So what we want to do is we're gonna cut these in about three inches. Mm -hmm. Now we need a reciprocator so Do you have one there? Yeah, right there. This one here? Uh, yeah, with a wood blade in it. Should I do that? Yeah. Run this off. Oh, okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> okay, now you don't want to go against the other side. Because it'll you bounce? Yeah. That's great. You want to cut on an angle this way. Okay. Don't Down? cut straight in and out. You want to cut this way. This way. Okay. Way you want to cut. Gotcha. okay. Gotcha. See how you went down? Mm -hmm. And we're going to have that because now we got to cut fit. again. Okay. So, what you want to do, you want to try to straighten it out. Take it like this. Cut it in, uh, no, I have to cut it in uh, three inches. Okay, I'll do that. Mark it three inches and cut it straight. So okay. three inches from here, right? Right. Hold the saw on a real long angle and I'll go right through. <laughs> now you can cut that plate out right flush with the drywall. Flush with the drywall, huh? Yeah. Cut it again in the middle. Oh, yeah. Oh, just lay it on that thing there and hit it with a hammer. Oh, yeah. It's probably nice and hot, too, huh? Yeah, it's hot. Big yellow pine. That's it's yellow hard, pine. Huh? Yeah, it's hard. Work. So we cut those back three and a half inches. Three inches. Three inches. Okay, three inches back. The top's three inches. So we cut the top three inches up. Three inches up. That stud is three inches up. Yeah. And then the plate, the bottom yeah. plate, yeah. is even with the drywall. Yeah. So far, so good. So far, so good. Secret, you want to put one of these in here yet? No, no, I gotta put them together. Ah, okay, that makes sense. Let me get the screws. Oh, 
wait. Did I bring him in? I did bring him in. There's three in it. Those are threes. What are those? Three and a half. All right, we'll put three and a half on that side. Okay. We'll put the threes over here. Okay, well, they're two different sides, oh. two different heads. Okay, well, we can do this, but the only thing is we got to get it off the deck. Okay. Uh, we can do that. We got to know. Do we want to use the three and a half? Three and a half, yeah. Let's you use sure? Them. You don't need to use those. Okay, I'm going to change my bit. Choose them up. See if we can bounce her. I'm gonna go out and get a sledgehammer. Uh, you want me to get it? Where is it? It's in the back of the truck. I'll look for it. I don't know if you'll find it. Is it full size or small one? The small one, small short short handle on it. All right. Okay. Look. Mm -hmm. I got a problem. Okay. I've cut only two inches here. So that means I have to cut an inch off of this side. I have to cut an inch off of this side. And we have to cut an inch off of each. Okay. One inch off. No. Of oh yeah, one inch. You have to cut an inch off. It don't matter. In the end, one an inch. inch off. Yeah. Okay. One inch. Yeah. Yeah. I only cut two inches up on the thing there. Okay. All right. First. Don't set it all the way in. Just set it to the first one. Yeah. Yeah. The reason you want to do that because you can't pull it back out. Mm. You can always push it in. Oh, you're right. Okay. Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right. Now, we gotta put some screws in it. All right. Where's them three inch? Right here. No, uh, the long one. You three want the long one? Yeah. yeah. All right. So make two of them down that way. Okay. On this end.
You don't have any? Mm-mm. Well, you should at least be getting them. Right. for some drywall. No. Oh, Keep them okay. about three quarters of an inch away from the edge. Yeah, right. Good. The molding will cover it and we don't have to. Uh -huh. One more? Yep, yeah, we gotta do the top. Oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. I need a couple long screws yet. Yeah, okay. Right here, right there, right there. Okay. And right there, right there. Okay. Wait, where did you say? Right here. See that mark there? Okay, yeah. One there, one there, and one there, one there. All right. And push them up in that metal. Push them uh, as far as you can up in that two by four. Okay. And when you get it going, keep it going. Center of 71 and a half. Center of 71 and a half? Yeah. Okay, so That's we know that fits on. Uh -huh. And we know 35 and, 35 and 3 quarters from there to there. What we want to do is we're going to go outside. Okay. Put the level and a pencil. Got it. Did you say you wanted to go an inch above that screw? No, half an inch. Okay. And the screw is going up on an angle already. You're right. We should, yep. we should yep. be all right. Okay. Yep. Okay. Now it comes to the dusty part. I plug it in? Yep. Okay, let me find a mask. Have a sharp pencil. Move over. When I say I want to move over, an inch, inch and, and a half. Give me mean, just two by four. Want me to mark it while you hold it? Yeah. money for that <laughs> second stroke. <laughs> it cost money. One time now, Glenn. One time. What's the date? The 29th? Yeah. My dad's birthday. Is it really? Yeah. Aww. <laughs> Today it's two years since I bought my truck. Okay. Now. <laughs> where's that mask at? Boy, it smells like laundry. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Now you gotta watch it because this guard sticks. Yeah. So when you set it down. Yep, don't set it on the cord. Yeah. What do we have when we can stick in our putty knife? I don't think I can get in there. Oh, you, oh, it's a putty knife. I got yeah, you. I need a putty knife. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I think we're in the wood. Good. Yeah? Yep. We're in the wood. It's where we should be. Now what do you do down there? Sawzall? Sawzall. Okay. What do we have to stand on? You want, is that Back all right? Tool, yeah. You want to try? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I... You have to hold her on the top of my head. I, I think that thing's giving up. There you go. Okay, hold it over you. Right over top of my head. Okay. So it blows it down and out. Okay. There you go. Back up far enough because that thing's going to drop. Should I cut those bottom pieces? Yeah, we have. To. Yep. Well, you won't be able to go straight in because that two by four is in there. So just turn the thing around, start from the bottom. There you go. Sit and take your mask off. Well, I want to hold this so this thing will not oh, fall on it. Okay, thanks. Just work your way up. Huh? Just keep pulling up so you score. Is it enough, you think? I think that might be. Okay. Run in there and get the sledgehammer. Alright. Yeah, we gotta move everything back far enough. I see light almost all the way around. Oh, you can? Uh -huh. Good. <laughs> Huh? Can we hit it from the inside? I don't look loose. Don't look loose. Want to go inside and... No, I gotta see if that's cut. You could see from the inside if it's... All the way around? Not completely. Where at? Yeah, I believe it is. Uh-huh. I believe we just got to, uh... Yeah, you got it. You cut there. You want to use a cell phone? Yeah, no. This thing weighs about 200 pounds. Really? Oh, yeah, close, huh? Wow! Holy smokes! Okay, we got the doors in. And here's what uh, Glenn told me to do to make sure we're flush on the inside is to take a piece of 2x4 and you put it flush your drywall and your door frame up together. 
and we're it's gonna have to come in a little bit but yeah while he was outside putting the screws in on the outside i held this two by four here to make sure that the door was flush here and here to the wall so that's the trick for getting the door flush he said are you flush i said yep and he put a screw in we did the same thing here he said are you flush put a screw in same thing here are you flush and we want to flush it with this frame not necessarily the door because the door is not but the frame needs to be flush with so you're flushing the frame with the drywall so is that flush yes i did the same thing up here and that's how we made the door flush this is perfect what are you talking about what's perfect we here. put that piece of mold in there. Uh huh. Cut that piece of mold and just put it up against here. Cock this. Uh huh. And we're done. Yep. Looks pretty good. Did you put your screw through those shims or right underneath it? I put this one underneath this one here. I went through. Okay. I got to put a shim now. I got to put some shims in here. Okay. I can shim it out. Yeah, the screw should, the shim should go through the screws. Oh, look at that. If the uh, if your casing is twisted, uh -huh. the door will automatically swing this way. Okay, so I used a piece of one inch plastic, and it it's perfect size this way. It's a little bit not deep enough on this side. It's perfect on this side. I mean, 